you know, I, I think, I, I don't want to refer to old school playing, but a guy that, for me, as a hitter, utilizes what the pitchers don't, uh, steal a bag. Most hits since 2000, or second most hits since, since 2018, Freddie Freeman. Uh, watching his at-bats, Tom, when I see a guy slider down the way, go the other way, spin here, inside, hanger, we'll, we'll, we'll check it and go. Uh, good on the bases, solid shortstop. I'm not going to give him gold, but just the, just the ability to put another guy in a lineup that doesn't have back leg, same approach, um, 300 hitter. Like, I, I, this is awesome. Verlander drops, right? With, with yeah, the, and, uh, right, yeah. right. They're going, <laughs> boom, oh yeah, there's another one. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Wait, just overall, Tom, before we get to your tape. Well, I think Al said it well. He does everything well, and yeah. he fits this team perfectly. Bryson Stott did a nice job, but a lot of people think he didn't have the arm to play shortstop every day. He slides to second base. Turner takes over shortstop. Mm -hmm. Turner fits the lineup better. Reese Hoskins was hitting second. He pushes down now more in an RBI spot where he belongs. Turner does his thing at the top of the lineup or behind Schwarber in first or second. Mm, there you go. I, I, I love this group. This is an offensive first team. There's no doubt about it. They mm. just got better. And keep this in mind, friend. We know next year with the rule changes, yep. there Bingo. will be more stolen bases. Bingo. And this guy, if he doesn't steal at least 60, I will be shocked. 60. And, and to your point, bigger bases, yeah. and then pitchers can throw over to first base a fewer number of times. How about right. twice? <laughs> yeah. so, so tell us why Trey Turner is so special. He's worth 300 large. Well, he's Mr. Consistency. You look at the numbers that he puts up. Just look at last year. We'll look at his numbers in terms of his splits against left, right, home, road. Last three seasons, you see, you know what you're getting from Trey Turner, right? What I really like about him is even though it looks like he's a consistent hitter, he's actually two hitters in one. And by that, I mean when he's ahead of the count or behind the count. And he really started to evolve with his approach at the plate a couple of years ago. Here's what I'm talking about, consistency mm. here. Left, right, home, road, bases empty. doesn't matter. This guy's going to get his hits. And with the way he runs, sometimes he miss hits a ball and it turns into a base hit. But let me show you what I'm talking about when he's ahead of the count and behind the count. You always see with guys differences, but with Trey Turner, it's because the approach is so different. First, let's look, look at fastballs up, right? That's no, that's two, two and no count. He's sitting on fastball, big leg kick, hits it out of the park. Now, same pitch, look at the short stroke, no leg kick. That was a two strike approach. Look at fastball down the middle, count in his favor crushes it. This is the way you should swing the bat when you have count leverage. Now, how about same pitch when behind the count? Doesn't try to do too much. Goes the other way with it. This is why he's such a dangerous hitter no matter the count. Once again, fastball down and away. Count leverage, there's the power. Two strikes, look how much he has shortened up. That's the same pitch. One more time, I'm going to show you off-speed pitch, same approach. Count in his favor, big leg kick. My goodness, that thing is hammered. Same pitch here, off-speed curveball, stays behind it, hits the other way. Now take a look at the side angle here. You see the leg kick and the counts in his favor. Now with two strikes, there's no leg kick. Everything is abbreviated, short, quick to the baseball. This is something Trey started doing about 2020. It's really developed into a weapon for him. And now when you look at what he does here, batter ahead, batter behind, major league hitters, as I said, there's always going to be a split. But with Trey, he hits so well when he's behind the count. 548 slugging. My goodness, So that's why I see you're looking at two different hitters. A guy who can hit the ball out of the park and a guy who, when he's got two strikes, he's going to put the ball in play. Mm -hmm. the spray chart tells you all you need to know, right? When you have count leverage, you're looking to get the ball out front, pull the baseball with power. That's what he does. Behind the count, you have to defend the whole field against Trey Turner. I'm telling you guys, they got themselves a premier offensive player who's now, whose game is going to be even better because of the rule changes. Yes, and that was beautiful, and that was kind of my point, and that was awesome breakdown with hitters that will hit with what you're given. The 0-2, 1-2, 2-2, 3-2, put the ball in play. St go Stay on it, go the other way. But I, I can't say it enough as far as – I know we did a, a, a mock uh, lineup there, but – yeah. 20, what do you have, 20, 21 bags last, 27 bags. 27 last year. You know year. who the leader was for the Phillies in stolen bases, Fran, last year? Oh, it was Kyle Schwarber? Yeah. Schwarber. <laughs> you know how many he had? Three. <laughs> you know, so, now, on top of the three-inch bag, dude could run. Oh. Like, I can't say enough of the nuisance of a guy at first base that I knew was going to go in any pitch or two. Pick your guy, Henderson, Devon White, who I played with, or Andrew Jones. 
and how that affects what goes on at the plate. I give Dave I mean, Dombrowski and the Phillies a ton of credit oh. because when you make the investment, and John Melton, the owner, you make the investment in Bryce Harper, 13 years, $330 million, you can't stop there. You're all in, right? And now if you're a Phillies fan, we saw that 11 years, no trade, Trey Turner, go buy your Trey Turner jerseys. He's not going anywhere. Harper, not going yeah. anywhere. The core of this team is fabulous. All right, JT Romuto, by the way, is going to come looking for you. Time you out, can get me out. in trouble. Time Fred, look at this. Yeah, what are you looking at? I'm looking season at season numbers? I'm, what are we getting in trouble? I don't know, Fergazi stats right here. Yeah, I got swarm at three. Numbers? Oh, was Real that what Muto it was? with 21 <laughs> steals last year. <laughs> that by was the way, I'm unbelievable athlete. But, 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 Tom, you talked about it, too. Just the guaranteed money here that the Phillies have on the book. So All in. That, 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 those are the, the yearly averages. But let's just go big picture. Bryce, 330. Zach Wheeler, 115. Real Muto, I think, 115. Castellanos, 100. Schwarber, uh, 79. You got Nola there, too. But also, I didn't, uh, with, uh, with Castellanos, there's one more. And then tr Turner with uh, 300 million. They are literally putting all their chips to the center of the table. And if you're a Phillies fan, after the run you saw, they won the pennant in the National League, those fans were completely outrageous. Yeah. It was unbelievable. And the owner season. and everybody. Yeah, and John Middleton obviously get, doing a great job. So, well, fan, that's a great point, by the way, because the Phillies proved that having the number six, six seed, seed is six not seed. fool's goal. That's right. Yeah. We thought maybe this would disincentive te disincentivize teams from really going over the payroll tax limit. Uh, from trying to win 95 games instead of 81. No, they proved get in mm -hmm. and you can go to the World Series. And I think we're seeing that in the money spent that and the fact that we have a CBA in place. Traditionally, yeah. once that's set, the rules are set, we see spending and boy, floodgates have opened. And Bryce Harper, immediately after they lost, and there was a lot of disappointment, obviously losing to the Astros. But Bryce Harper said, and I'm paraphrasing, uh, we're not done. We're going to go out. We're going to sign a couple of guys, and, and we'll be back. And, boy, I have the Phillies uh, bounce back in a big way.